and the madness keeps rolling on. This video will be a response to a dumb statement that was made which uh, Elder Manat Zakba goes into it. Uh, this is from the video Hebrew Israelites does camp controversy make us look bad. And um, you had an individual who came on the comment board uh, made a dumb statement and when I heard it I said man I can't let that go I gotta do a response to that so without further ado let me just play it get into it comment and and as the scripture said the wicked shall do wickedly you're gonna have many wicked Israelites doing wicked things man but that's no way for the rest of us to be uh to feel embarrassed about it matter of fact let's just go to the guy's comment right here so this same guy Jose Omar says and I think he meant to put both right here but he that's the guy who made the dumb statement <coughs> uh, Jose Omar <coughs> a lot of you Israelites you look at controversy <clears throat> which you're just a you're just a punk ass bitch ass camp hater to begin with because you look at you obviously didn't see what happened he says both missing the bigger picture what's the bigger picture bitch ass nigga it's about the message and both will not and cannot enjoy the message together and he put a question mark it's about the message and both will not and cannot enjoy the message together blasphemous blasphemous both are how how the brothers blasphemous from gms Pist you got a lot of bug outs out there man i mean <laughs> some serious some serious head cases in this nation man and it seems like well i i have a saying about this knowledge this truth either it brings out the best in you or it brings out the worst in you <laughs> there's no in between either this knowledge this truth brings out the best in you or the worst in you and as as i have seen and some of you brothers out there as you have seen you got a lot of individuals that this knowledge this truth brings out the worst in them you know I mean some real bug outs. Pittsburgh, when all they did was brought scriptures out. What did they do wrong? You're blinded because you're a little faggot. That's why. Blasphemous both are. Both need to shut down. And then he goes, and, and a lot of you Jays do this. You start saying things that are not even scriptural. Thou shalt not war with thy brother, period, is written. Yeah, now that's the statement that that individual Hosa Hosa. <laughs> That's, that's a combination of Jose and Omar. That's the statement that Jose Omar made, the bugged out statement, which uh, that's not a scripture. Thou shalt not war with thy brother, period. It It's written. Where? Where is it written? <coughs> he just pulled that right out of his ass. Okay, so when I heard that, I said, man, I got to do a response to that. Now, in this video, which I watched the whole video, uh, Elder Manat Zakba goes into the history you know, the past history of how the Lord caused Israelites to come against Israelites, you know. And the first question that should be asked is, who is our brother? Who is our brother? Them that do the will of the Father. That's our brother, man. And the majority of the Israelites out there, they're not our brother because they're not doing the will of the Father. How wish I clearly said that in the book of Matthew, the 12th chapter. Who is my father and who is my brother? Who is my sister? Who is my mother? Them that do the will. So the majority of Israelites out there, they're not doing the will of the Heavenly Father. What is the will of the Heavenly Father? To learn this truth and to go out and preach it, to teach it, whether it be out on the street or whether it be doing videos. And not only just to teach the word, but to rightly divide the word of truth. Because it's not just about teaching it. You got to teach the right thing. The scriptures speak about teachers of good things. Let's get that real quick. Okay, if, if you're going to teach the word, you got to teach it correctly as it is written, rightly dividing the word of truth. Teachers of good things. Let's read that. And this is uh, directed to the women, but it's also directed to the men. Titus 2 and 3. The aged women likewise that they be in behavior as become of holiness, not false accusers, which a lot, of, a lot of these Israelite men out there are false accusers. Not given to much wine. A lot of them Israelite men are given to much wine. They talk like they're they're, they're super drunk. Okay, I mean they just <laughs> spew out some some crazy madness, bugged out madness. 
okay not given to much wine Here it is teachers of good things so if that's true for the women how much more the men so it's not just about teaching it's about rightly dividing the word of truth now you just heard the statement this crackpot made jose omar thou shall not war with thy brother period it's written <laughs> where first of all the lord said he's going to bring judgment upon them that know the truth and yet are being hypocrites in the truth right let's read it here first peter 4 and 17 for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the heavenly father so the house of the heavenly father the individuals that are in the house of the heavenly father what are they they're fellow israelites but they are israelites that are that are hypocrites they're israelites that are not doing the right thing okay uh, for the time has come that judgment, so judgment, that's the key word there, judgment, must begin at the house of the Heavenly Father. And if it begin at us, see, those are fellow Israelites, right? What shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Heavenly Father? Now, that's the two-thirds. Those are Israelites that, that were not part of our inner circle. But judgment is going to start with the Israelites that are not right within the inner circle. Now, who is the Lord going to use to bring judgment upon them jeremiah 16 and 16 behold i will send for many fishes saith the lord and they shall fish them right now this is the part and i will and after will i send for many hunters so what do hunters do they kill right so who's going to be the hunters those are going to be israelites that are doing the right thing those are going to be the chosen of the lord those are going to be the elect who are they going to hunt they're going to hunt israelites that are not doing the right thing okay they're gonna hunt Israelites that are not doing the right thing because they're part of the Heavenly Father's judgment first Peter 4 and 17 judgment is gonna start where at the house of the Heavenly Father It's gonna start with Israelites that know that they're Israelites but they're being hypocrites and they're not doing the right thing so the Lord is gonna use Jeremiah 7 uh, 16 and 16 uh, let's read it again. Behold, I will send for many fishes, saith the Lord, and, and they shall fish them. You know who the fishes are. Those are the teachers. And after will I send for many hunters. So the teachers are going to turn into hunters, the true teachers. They're going to turn into hunters, and they shall hunt them. Hunt who? Those fake Israelites, those false Israelites. They shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. For mine eyes are upon all their ways. See, they are not hid from my face. That's the Heavenly Father speaking. Neither is their iniquity hid from mine eyes. And the worst kind of uh, Israelite is the one that know that they're Israelite or that they're an Israelite. And yet they're still committing iniquity. And enjoying in it. Well, the Lord is going to use his true Israelites, his true elect, to bring judgment upon them. So that destroys that thou shalt not war against thy brother, period. It is written. That destroys that. And if this crackpot don't repent, he's going to be a casualty of, a, a, you know, a true Israelite, a member of the elect that's going to bring judgment, pursuant to what the Heavenly Father said, First Peter 4 and 17, that's going to bring judgment upon him if this crackpot don't repent. Okay, because the Lord is going to use Israelites to kill false Israelites. The Lord is going to use true Israelites to kill false Israelites. Okay, and that is the truth. And with that, I'm going to end it there. Hopefully you were edified. So on to the next one.